our uh, FR777 pantry pullout slide is going to go into this cabinet and obviously uh, the uh, the uh, FR777 is a, a little bit of an overkill for this small of a cabinet because the um, the 777 is to, it can be used in cabinets that are over eight feet high uh, 98 inches high and you can go uh, uh, 23 and a half inches wide so this is a little bit small for the FR777 but uh, the, the whole purpose of the video is to demonstrate how to install the slide uh, so this smaller cabinet's just going to make it a little easier for me. The um, instructions that are provided in this video um, are based on building a um, pantry uh, rollout unit and then, a set, and then attaching a door to it after that. And uh, also I'm figuring that this as an overlay application. If you're going to do an interior rollout, uh, then you also have to make the uh, the necessary uh, setback adjustments for an interior rollout application. This one's an overlay. Uh, the slide is rated uh, as a 450 pound class, so heavy duty. Uh, you can use it in commercial applications if you have a nice pantry you, you want to put in your kitchen. They come as short as a 16 inch slide and you can get them all the way up to uh, 36 inch lengths, um, making this a very versatile slide, extra heavy duty. So uh, what we're looking at here to start with, this is the um, uh, pantry support element. This is what, this is the piece here that goes under the pantry that you built to support it. And here's uh, the roller slide that goes in the bottom of your cabinet. Uh, and this is the carriage here, very quiet, nice bearings on this. Um, so there's the, uh, the, the guide to support your uh, base. Let's take a uh, let's just take a second to look at the front of this slide. Now, this is the uh, uh, the pantry support uh, element here. This goes on uh, on the bottom of your pantry pullout, and um, uh, this is a um, a throwaway keeper. Uh, I would say don't take this out and remove it from the um, runner until you're done installing the cabinet and ready to make adjustments because it's my opinion and I don't know this for a fact that the reason they have this little red clip in here is so that at the top you will not make adjustments on the up and down until after it's a slide uh, uh, installed in order to keep the tolerances you need to put the pantry unit into the cabinet then after it's in the cabinet then remove this clip and you can make all the up and down adjustments you want uh, next thing is, I hope it's possible for you to see these pins here and here. Uh, these serve two purposes. Uh, one of them is to secure this uh, unit in place so it can't pop out uh, like that. So that's one function so that uh, when you tighten this in, uh, the pin will go into the hole on that element and it's there to stay. Same thing on this side. So that's one purpose uh, for those uh, pins. The other is for side to side adjustment. Now once you've done that and got it where you want it, here's the uh, up and down adjustment uh, feature right here. And you have to take the red clip out to make this uh, up and down adjustment from here. That's what this is for. Here is the um, upper stabilizer unit. This is an important part of your cabinet. Uh, it, when they incorporate it with this ball bearing slide uh, at the top of your cabinet, up at the top, it provides for lateral stability. So the top of your pantry rollout unit isn't going to tilt to the left or the right. It even has a feature to prevent it from coming forward. Uh, it does not have any um, weight bearing uh, capabilities though. It's, it's purely a stabilizing unit for on the top, uh, although it does have a damper uh, that goes in here uh, for giving you a nice closing feature. And then uh, since this unit is purchased without a, a soft close feature, that can be purchased separately and that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Uh, we are going to attach this 
a soft close unit that I have right here with all of the components that are necessary uh, and then install a unit in uh, the kitchen cabinet that I have right over there. Let's get started by uh, installing the uh, soft close accessories for this uh, pantry rollout slide. Uh, this is a damper that goes in the uh, upper stabilizer gun. And uh, you can see in the video that we have a, s a set of slotted, a couple of slots here. And the, the damper fits into that. There's a right side up and a right side down. And when you look at it uh, and have it in your hand, you will know what's up and what's down with it. And it's, it'll only fit in here one direction because it's quite long. And there it clicked into place. Nice fit there. Uh, now we're going to install the soft close pistons, one on each side. It takes quite a bit of pressure. Manufacturer said you can get them out. <laughs> I hope I don't ever have to take them out. I think they're in pretty good. As I mentioned in the uh, beginning of the video, this soft close device you see right here it's optional so what I'm doing right now uh, you don't have to do if you're not interested in soft closing these uh, tabs are what trigger the soft close and there is a left and a right this one it goes on the right hand side pulling it forward to here I can slide this on then the instructions call for bending the metal tab up let me put the other one on so you can see what I'm talking about. Here's the one for the left side. Hope you can see that. Right there. And I'm going to put my screwdriver in here and bend this tab up. And do that on both sides. There, it's in. It won't come out. All the soft close hardware is installed. So let's watch this thing function and then we'll go about building our pantry pullout. Boy, it takes a lot of energy to load that soft close device. Watch this. That's pretty good. I like it. Well, one by one now, let's uh, start putting these pieces uh, together and assembling our pantry rollout. We're going to start with uh, this one. This is the uh, ball bearing uh, roller that goes into the top of your cabinet. Now, they might, some might look a little different. We're doing a 22 inch, so we've got two of these wheels on this ball bearing roller. Whereas the longer ones might have three, I just don't know. But the 22 inch has two of them. And so we're going to install this in the top of the cabinet, so let's do that right now. When I install this ball bearing runner, I have to have a 10 millimeter setback from the front edge of my face frame cabinet. And that is achieved by piloting a hole for a 37 millimeter setback right here. If we have this 37 millimeter setback, and um, we use this uh, first screw hole in the runner here, uh, and attach the drawer slide to the uh, cabinet, we're going to have exactly a 10 millimeter setback. Let's just take a look when I put it in. And there is the 10 millimeter setback. Now let's take a look at our bottom um, runner and the carriage. I have it in here, flipped in here upside down so you can see the bottom of it. Uh, this uh, screw hole right here, this uh, access hole, is uh, designed uh, to line up with a 37 millimeter setback inside of the cabinet. So this hole is piloted at 37 millimeters from the front edge of the face frame to the center of this hole. And if we flip this slide over, uh, we'll be able to put our uh, screw in through here and into the base of the cabinet and we will achieve a two millimeter setback for the front edge of this pantry rollout slide and that's what we want to accomplish a two millimeter setback by taking advantage of a 30 
7 millimeter setback, a screw hole setback. In this case we're going to use a um, pan head screw to secure this uh, pantry unit and take advantage of that hole that we talked about. So I'm getting that lined up, pull this carriage forward a little bit. There, now I'm lined up precisely on the um, 37 millimeter screw hole setback and I'll be able to put in this pan head screw here. And now my base is lined up perfectly. And here's a, here's a, a thing because the, uh, the instructions are showing that on the back side there are four holes there where you would put in uh, through bolts uh, with T-nuts uh, to secure this because of the extreme weight that might end up on this slide. In my case I'm not going to have that much weight so I won't be putting through bolts in but if you have a situation where you can't get at the bottom then you have to uh, be sure to take into consideration what you need so that this uh, pantry pullout slide is securely uh, fastened in case you have those extreme uh, heavy loads. And there you have it, a perfect two millimeter setback. The next phase of our uh, project of uh, installing a pantry rollout in this cabinet is to construct the, uh, the rollout itself. And that means we have to take a couple of things into consideration. Uh, one of those things is uh, the upper uh, roller here and the um, uh, upper stabilizer guide, uh, this piece. Uh, those, that unit requires 59 millimeters of space at the top. Then at the bottom we have the pantry rollout itself, the, the guide, and uh, its support element, and that requires 90 millimeters. So uh, the total amount that we have to subtract from this opening uh, is uh, 149 millimeters. And uh, uh, what I already know is that my opening uh, from, from the top to the bottom is 1,063 millimeters. 1,063 millimeters uh, minus uh, 59 millimeters uh, and 90 millimeters, that's 149 millimeters, is precisely 914 millimeters is how tall I have to build the pantry rollout unit. So let's go about building the pantry rollout unit and attaching the uh, upper stabilizer guide and the pantry support element to the pantry rollout unit. Well, uh, it didn't take me very long to cobble up this uh, uh, pantry rollout uh, unit here so that I can attach it to my rollers uh, top and bottom. And it is precisely 914 millimeters from here to here. It's also, it's also 36 inches. So there's my pantry rollout unit to which I will attach the upper stabilizer guide and uh, the, um, uh, the bottom element here, uh, the support element. So let's do that next. And now we're going to attach our pantry support element, the piece from the, that goes on the bottom of the pantry pullout, we're going to attach it to the pantry pullout. This uh, is the bottom of our pantry rollout, and we're going to attach the bottom plate. It requires a 37 millimeter screw hole setback uh, here and here. And then the mounting plate, uh, which I call the pantry support element, uh, mounts right here. And uh, these holes on the, on the um, plate uh, line up with the 37 millimeter setback. So we're going to put those in right now. Uh, put the screws into those holes. And our uh, bottom plate for the pantry rollout unit is installed. This is the front of the uh, bottom plate. Now we're going to attach the upper stabilizer plate uh, to our guide, to our um, pantry pullout unit, and it also requires a 37 millimeter 
screw hole setback. So we'll install that, uh, the upper stabilizer, uh, we'll install that now. This is the front. We are about to install the pantry rollout unit into our cabinet, but one thing I want to point out, this little red clip. Hopefully you have not removed that and made up and down adjustments because if you leave this in, then your dimensions that you allowed for the top and for the bottom will line up perfectly and this should slide right on. If you take this out and play with that and move it up and down, you might have some trouble with your installation. So leave this in until uh, after you have installed your unit, then pull it out and make whatever up and down adjustment you feel is necessary. We are about to install our pantry unit and that will require us to pull the runner out the full distance. We're going to set our pantry unit on top of this runner and then roll it in. So let's do that right now. Unit is on. Before we uh, do anything else, we need to tighten these uh, pins here into the bottom of the plate. So we're going to tighten those up right now. Now with these two pins tightened, uh, the pantry rollout unit is secure. You won't be able to accidentally jerk it out of the cabinet. And uh, at, at this time you can remove this red pin. And uh, now you, uh, by removing that pin you can make whatever up and down adjustments uh, that you feel are necessary. Well let's see how this, uh, let's see how this cabinet functions with a little, a little weight on it. There's the full extension, and there's the close. I think it works pretty nice. <clears throat> Thanks for watching the uh, video today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, uh, give us a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, and subscribe. <laughs>